Hello and welcome to BitBoy Crypto. If you haven't done so already, make sure you are a subscriber to our channel. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button and you are in. You are a member of the Bit Squad. With that membership comes a chance to win $150 or two shirts this month. I'll put the details behind me real quick so you can read the details, but they're also down below. Now, usually I'm going to be giving you a video and I'm going to be giving you information. I'm going to be talking about coins. Be doing all that. But today, we have a special guest, Hashoshi, a.k.a. Forrest. He is going to be giving you some of his picks. Now, it's very important when you're watching this to listen to what he says about being a developer. As a developer, he's going to be able to give you a lot more on the tech side, and he's going to be able to give you a totally different perspective that I can't give. So you guys, go ahead, watch his top five coins that you can buy during a crash, and I will get with you guys when he's done. What is up YouTube? Has the crypto crash taken a bite out of your portfolio like it has for most people? Well, I'm here to tell you my top five cryptocurrency altcoins to buy and accumulate during this crypto crash that are going to create some serious growth over the next year and beyond. Let's hash it out. So guys, for those who don't know me, my name is Forrest. I run a YouTube channel called Hishoshi. I'll have BitBoy link that above. I am a blockchain systems architect and developer building applications in the real world for people that want to join this movement. And today I wanted to share with you my top five altcoin picks for growth this year and beyond so that you guys can build your portfolios back up after this crash. And I wanna thank BitBoy for having me on his channel again. It is awesome that us cryptocurrency YouTubers can all work together and collaborate with each other and share our opinions and our thoughts on each other's channels. So thank you, BitBoy. Definitely hit subscribe on his channel. He's a beast. Number one is basic attention token. And I think if you guys have ever seen my channel, you've probably seen, I'm a big fan of basic attention token. And here's why. I think basic attention token is going after a huge problem in our current economic ecosystem. Basic Attention Token and the Brave platform are looking to revolutionize the way content creators and creators in general on the internet make money and the way that advertisers target individuals and just the whole way that that little micro economy of online advertising and content creation works. So YouTubers like myself and BitBoy, we could get paid for our content in Basic Attention Tokens and folks like you that are watching and even BitBoy and I, we watch content all the time. As we watch advertisements, we get basic attention tokens and we can use those to reward content creators that we know and love. So basic attention token and the Brave browser have a fantastic team behind them. They have a fantastic product already in the Brave browser. I definitely recommend you download that. And I actually really think that this year and next year are gonna be a really big milestone for them as their platform builds up further and I would recommend picking up some basic attention token to hold for the long term. And if you want to learn more about basic attention token, I'll have BitBoy link one of uh, my videos about basic attention token above. Number two may be a controversial one, but it is Stellar Lumens or XLM. And I think this one is one that you see online a lot about, you know, oh Stellar going to the moon, going to the moon, XLM going to the moon. But I actually think that this one is a solid growth cryptocurrency that has some really solid partnerships and a solid roadmap going forward. And at the current price, I think it's a steal. Now XLM has pretty consistently stayed in the top 10 of all cryptocurrencies pretty much throughout the life of the cryptocurrency market and since it made its migration over to its own platform. Now. With all these amazing partnerships that they're striking, they already have one with IBM, and they just announced a partnership with Robinhood, a, a cryptocurrency exchange, I guess you can call it, or a, a place that you can buy cryptocurrency, which can obviously increase adoption and increase the number of people who own Stellar Lumens. Now, another thing that's huge is that they've got a great roadmap to build their platform up. They're improving their transaction throughput. They're improving the friendliness that developers have towards the platform and building out new APIs, making it just overall a more pleasurable platform to build on. And as a developer, I really do appreciate the work that they're doing to make it better for people to build applications using the Stellar network. And finally, there's been an announcement 
from Stellar that they are going to be having a Fiat XLM pairing, so you can do Great British Pounds, US Dollars, etc., straight to Stellar Lumens on a decentralized exchange using a project that's already on their network, White Standard Token. And White Standard Token is a stable coin that's pegged to the US dollar, I believe. And the whole idea there is they can use the decentralized exchange on the Stellar network using this WSD token to then do fiat swaps for XLM. And that's obviously one more rail for people to get into XLM and buy that token with fiat currency. Obviously, the more accessible a cryptocurrency is, the more people that can potentially buy it. Usually, that's a good thing. So I think XLM is a good buy and hold during this cryptocurrency crash. Number three is Zillica. And I know that Zillica has been discussed on BitBoy's channel. He's got a great video. If you wanna learn a ton about it, definitely watch that video. But I'll just give you the high level here. So Zillica is looking to tackle one of the biggest problems in cryptocurrency and, and blockchain applications overall, and that's scalability. Now, there's a concept in distributed databases and basically lots of other technologies called sharding. And that's basically just splitting up those storage, computing, et cetera, those tasks into different bundles of computing power. Different computers will handle this piece of it and other computers will handle this piece of it. And so what Zillica is trying to do is take that same concept of sharding and break up the process of reaching consensus into these little individual shards. And what that's going to do is allow the blockchain network itself to scale infinitely. Obviously, there is a limit to what this can actually do, but it allows for more scalability. And that's a super important thing. So I'm always trying to be problem centric. What does a cryptocurrency have in terms of a solution to a real problem? And I think Zillic is going after the scalability problem with a really solid and innovative approach. Guys, I think that Zillica could be a hit as more and more scalability problems come into the limelight and there are more solutions that are coming, you know, coming into the mix. I think Zillica has a really solid roadmap going forward. Definitely in my top five. Now, number four is Ontology. And I'm pretty sure that Ontology has been discussed quite a bit on YouTube and there are a lot of YouTubers who have talked about it. But Ontology's whole entire idea is to build a pretty much fully packaged enterprise application platform for people to build blockchain applications. Now they've already built out a bunch of functionality for value exchange, data transfer, and a really big one, digital identity. And this is another big problem in the blockchain space. How do you bridge that gap between the real world and the blockchain network? And Ontology actually is really working on a solid approach to digital identity. And if they can be the first really full package offer out there for developers looking to build stuff with blockchain, to build stuff with a cryptocurrency backing, and they have solved this digital identity problem, they are going to blow up. Digital identity is a huge problem, and I'm really, really stoked to see that Ontology is working on that for their platform. Well, Ontology's been on my radar for a while, and they're actually in the process of shifting over to their own blockchain network. So sort of their, you know, their past MVP and they're really looking to build out their own full size network. And they've also announced a partnership with NEO. So they're gonna have hot swappable tokens between NEO and Ontology. That's also huge. Interoperability is a big, big word in the blockchain space. So Ontology is really checking all the boxes here and they have a really solid roadmap. And in my opinion, a pretty solid team behind them. So I think they are definitely going to be a solid growth pick going forward. My fifth and final cryptocurrency, I think is probably the more expensive of this group, and that is Elastos. Now, Elastos obviously also is one of those that's been heavily covered over the last six to seven months because they've announced quite a bit of cool stuff in the market. And this one is one that I'm a big fan of, and I know some people are not the biggest fan of Elastos. They think it's, you know, empty promise, but, Here's why I think Elastos is fantastic. Elastos has actually been a project for 16 years. There's been a team working on this for 16 years. And you're probably thinking, okay, well, that doesn't make sense because Bitcoin's not even 16 years old. That's true. What was missing from the Elastos project before was blockchain. So as soon as that kind of came into the fray, 
the team figured out, okay, this was the missing piece. So that being said, this is almost 20 years of work that they've been doing on this platform. 20 years of work. And this block, the blockchain is not everything for them. Their product is so much more than just the blockchain. And that's why I think Elastos is a sleeper pick. I think this one is a cryptocurrency that has a lot of solid, solid energy behind it. It has a really long amount of hard work behind it. And the idea is fantastic. The idea behind Elastos is creating a fully decentralized, loosely coupled internet. And what I mean by loosely coupled is, is that applications like Facebook would not have to be you know, hand in hand with the open internet. It could be kind of loosely coupled. It, it could operate without a centralized internet. And there are so many benefits to that in, in terms of security, performance, et cetera. There's all sorts of, of, of value in that. And finally, Elastos is not just looking to do that. They're looking to create a new economic model around you owning the content that you create, you owning your data. So pretty much creating an open data exchange for people to use on this new kind of new generation of the internet. Elastos is looking to create this new decentralized internet that they dub the smart web. And this project had a huge ICO this year. And I know that ICOs are a hot, hot topic for people. It's kind of controversial, but Elastos has been working on this for a long time. They just did their ICO and they're looking to really make this real this year and on, you know, into 2019, 2020. So this is one that I think you should buy and hold and just watch. Look for what they're doing, read whatever papers they put out and just Think about the opportunity that's here because the, the internet's a big monster of a, of a system here. We, everyone uses the internet and if Elastos can really improve this beast of a system that we have, this one could 10x, maybe even 100, who knows, who knows where this could go. So Elastos is my number five pick and I really, really want to know what you guys think. So leave me and BitBoy a comment below. Let me know what you think about my top five picks and let me know what yours are because we're genuinely curious to know. Thanks guys for watching. Definitely watch some more of BitBoy's videos. This is a great channel, you can learn a lot. And if you wouldn't mind, please do go check out my channel. It's Hashoshi, I'll have BitBoy link it above. Hit subscribe and hit the bell and I'll be posting tons more content for you guys to enjoy. Thanks so much, cheers. I'm back, your boy, bit boy, here we go. Let's recap what Hoshoshi said, the top five coins he would buy in the crash. Number five, basic attention token. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of this token. This is one of my most passionate areas of cryptocurrency, online advertising and content creation rewarding. I think it's absolutely huge. I think it is going to be really big and it is doing a great job of having a working product. Number four, XLM, Stellar Lumens. I think he said it was a little controversial. I totally disagree with that. I don't think it's controversial at all. I think it is almost a surefire pick to do well. It's got huge partnerships with IBM. It has the stable coin. When a lot of people think of Stellar, they don't necessarily think of the platform. They kind of associate it with Ripple or XRP and just financial transactions, but it's so much more than that. And also, to be fair, he said it gets a bad rap for people all the time saying it's going to 100x and go to the moon. Well, the logo is a rocket, so you know you can't really argue with that. Number three, Zilliqa. Zilliqa is going to also be a really solid project in my mind. Very fast, very scalable. And if you remember from a video we did a few months ago, they're actually out of the top 20 crypto funds, the most invested in cryptocurrency across those funds is Zilliqa. So you got to think that big money and that smart investing knows something that we don't. So number two, Ontology. I would say right now, Ontology is my top pick. I think Ontology is going to pass Neo. Uh, Neo is putting on chain and Neo together. I think are putting a lot of resources into 
Ontology. Neo is falling to the wayside somewhat. I think Neo will continue to be a project, but I believe Ontology will pass Neo. Who knows, maybe by the end of this year, especially if we go on a good run. I don't think you can really argue with what Ontology is doing. It is definitely a great pick. And then his number one pick or number five pick, I'm not sure which way he counted down. I can't even remember. But he said Elastos. Now, what Elastos is doing, I really like he added the part in how it's been around for 16 years. Because blockchain is like a new innovation that they're now integrating into this Elastos internet idea. It actually existed before we went on this little crypto run and everybody decided they wanted to get in on an ICO. So Elastos, the project specifically itself, just celebrated its one year anniversary. But what they're doing, like I said, has been going on for quite a while. And I do think the idea of being able to be like on Facebook, I don't have a Facebook, you guys know. Got that cut from me. No Zuckerberg, no smoking meats, no Zuckerbot, none of it. So anyways, with Facebook, uh, you know, there were times where, or maybe still be, where hackers could actually get inside of like a Starbucks and you have your Facebook open on your phone and they could actually hack into your Facebook through phishing and all kinds of different ways. I'm not a hacker, can't get specific about it. But now if you were able to, let's say, be on Facebook, in a loose connection type way without actually having to be on Facebook or have that full connectivity, then that would prevent a lot of attacks and hacks and things like that. So I really think Elastos has got a lot of advantages. One thing it's trying to do is give internet to those who don't have internet through relayers and all kinds of different technology that they have that will be able to cement that loose internet, if you will. So everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ashoshi's channel. He's a very underrated channel. I really like his content. As you guys can see, it's very good. He comes with a different, fresh perspective. So you guys make sure to check that out. I will link to his channel at the end of this video. Until next time, BitBoy out.